Welcome to the second part of the overview video from Slotlight Infinity. As promised in the first part, we are waiting already with some very nice extensions for the Slotlight Infinity family. Depending on the application, coming from a concrete installation kit, wall mounting, until the RGBW version. So you will see we have a lot of new things to come in the Slotlight Infinity video. Let's start with Slotlight Infinity Slim. It's the perfect design-oriented extension with only 45 millimeters in width and only 64 millimeters in design height. It's the perfect design-oriented light line. It comes in a frame less and also in a frame version. The frame version is perfectly for plasterboard in integration. And for the plasterboard integration, you use the well-known plasterboard installation bracket. You use the same bracket also for slot light infinity, but also for slot two. Also, for sure, you have a surface mounted spring. But for your information, you can only use a special disc to mount it directly on the ceiling. Last but not least, you also have the possibility for a suspended installation. We have two LED patterns in the portfolio. One is for the standard PC, the diffuse optic, and also the PCO for the office optic for better glare values. There's a second one. It's the wall washer LED pattern. It's for asymmetric light distribution. Attention, there's one little difference. The reflector is already mounted on the LED pattern. For sure, what is also important for the wall washer, you have only a slightly diffuse diffuser, because otherwise we would destroy the asymmetric light distribution. For the other optics, we have for sure the standard Opal, the PC, and also the office optic in the portfolio. Also, there's a slight difference when it comes to through wiring. The LED button for Slotlight Infinity Slim has the LED driver on the LED button. This means you have to do the through wiring by yourself. You have a terminal block in the beginning and a terminal block in the end. This means the electrician has to electrify with our accessory each pattern to each other or he's doing it by himself. To connect the Slotlight Infinity Slim channels to each other, you need the connection set. First of all, you need the plate. Slide it in, tighten it up. Second, you need the two little pieces on the side. Slide it in, tighten it up as well, and connect the next channel to each other. Emergency lighting is also very important for light lines. Therefore, our LED drivers are already programmed on a level uh, of 50% DC to enable central battery emergency systems. But sometimes you also need a, need a self-contained emergency battery. Therefore, for slot and infinity, here for the recessed version, but also for the surface, suspended and technical, we have an NT3 three hours emergency version. Therefore, we have the well-known status LED, we have the battery, and we have the EM uh, driver to enable emergency also in light lines. For light lines, it's not only important to make special configurations like a U or a square. It's also important to make it ready for wall installation. Therefore, for a horizontal wall installation, we don't have any problems because gravity helps us. But in a vertical installation, we have to make sure everything is in the right place for a very long time. Therefore, we have this so-called wall mounting spring. It comes with a special screw. How is the installation? You install the spring on the gear tray and then we make sure the LED button is fixed perfectly to the channel. Ballproof luminaires are getting more and more important and not only in public buildings like kindergarten or schools. For us, for Slot and Infinity, we achieved the ballproof, the BWS certificate from Austria and Germany. Not only in the surface mounted suspended version you see here, also for the recessed plasterboard and also for the technical channel. The weak point always is the end cap. Therefore, we modified the end cap and we made also a hole in the diffuser because in combination with the mask plate, 
it's possible to mount this mask head plate perfectly to the channel. So we achieve a 100% ballproof luminaire, and that not only for the surface mounted, also for the suspended version with the chain, and also for the plasterboard version, because this will be mounted underneath the already known plastering frame, and so you can also mount the uh, screw, and we achieve the fully ballproof protection. Dust and water protection is also very important for light lines. Therefore, we are very proud that already in the standard plasterboard version, we have an IP54 protection from below and IP20 from the back. To make this possible also for the surface mounted suspended uh, version, we had to develop a new luminaire. Especially, the end cap is very important. We're using the well-known foam already from slot two to make sure everything is water and dust proof. And a new plastic piece in combination with our new slotted infinity diffuser. It has to be mounted on both sides for sure. And fitted in in the channel. And as a last step, you have to mount the mask plate. So you have finally an overall IP54 protection for surface mounted and suspended up to four meters out of one piece. As a slight outlook, I can tell you for spring 2017, we will extend this also for the technical channel. Concrete installation is getting more and more popular. We want to make sure in linear lighting to have a perfect integration into concrete. And that not only linear, also around corners. Therefore, we have a perfect slot and infinity concrete installation kit. First of all, we have the concrete fixing profile. This is our formwork and we put the fixing profile on our formwork. In a certain distance, you screw this fixing profile on the formwork. Then, in the next step, you take the slot and infinity concrete channel. You just go over it and click it in. That's it. If you want to make a continuous run, then you go uh, directly channel to channel. You just take a tape to protect it from moisture to make sure nothing will come in. Furthermore, because the concrete, the friction of the concrete is too less on this aluminium, we have the installation brackets. You take them, slide them over, and use the standard texton springs, click them in, and so you make sure the concrete sits perfectly on the channel. What is very important, you have to use the end cap for sure. We have a standard end cap and also an IP54 end cap. If you just change the end cap, you can even make it a fully IP54 installation and not only a IP40 installation. So you have both versions possible. After that, you fill in concrete. After a week or so, after the concrete is hard enough, you remove the formwork. And if you remove the formwork now, you remove the fixing element. This is gone. What you see then is just the aluminium line of the concrete channel. To make sure, to make it as easy as possible, you can use the Slotland Infinity recessed plasterboard channel. It perfectly fits in and you can easily screw this channel to the concrete channel with simple screws which are already in the concrete channel. So you can make linear and also corner elements in a concrete installation. One of the last extensions is the Slotland Infinity RGBW version. It comes in the recessed, surface mounted suspended, as well in the technical channel. Compared to slot two, we have now the W. It's not only RGB like for slot two, we have now RGBW for white as well. Slotland Infinity is not only easy to configure, it's also easy to install on the exact 
requirement on the exact length which is required from the customer from our application. In the plasterboard installation, as well in, as in concrete, it's even easier because, for example, if somebody requires a 3 meter 60 length, you can offer a 3 meter 50, which is in standard, and the next possible length would be a 3 meter 75. This means if you take the shorter length, you need 10 centimeters. If you divide that by half, this means 5 centimeters on each side. This means your channel ends after 3 meter 50, but 5 centimeters on each side, the diffuser, the optic will run through and from the outside you have the appearance of a 3 meter 60 luminar. This means you can use only standard materials and no special channel and no special LED pattern and you can configure down to every millimeter you really need. For the surface mounted suspended and for the technical it's not as easy but it's similar. It's the same thing, you take the 3 meter 50 in the example for the surface mounted and then you take the channel to cut. You cut the 5 centimeters two times and with the connection uh, set of Slotland Infinity you just connect it on each side and so you have your 3 meter 60 also for the surface mounted suspended and also for the technical channel. You only use standard components.